Hello English learners, this is Learn English with Brandon and in this video I'm going to talk about two words that are found on the Cambridge First Certificate exam. It, it is with the two words shade and shadow. Now these words are very very similar but we use them in different contexts. Okay. Now let's say you go to the park and it's a very sunny day. It's very hot outside, right? So you probably don't want to sit in the sun you would like to sit in the, which one do we use? You would like to sit in the shade. Yes, you would like to find uh, a place with shade to sit in, right? Now, technically, you are going to be sitting in the shadow of something, but we say, I would like to sit in the shade. Now, when we refer to shade, we are referring to this um, slightly elusive area that is a little bit darker. We're sitting in this area. When we say shadow, we are applying, we are, we are implying the, the shape on the ground, right? So when I stand in the sun, I create a shadow on the ground. But the shade is, is, is the area between the shadow and my body. Right? So the shadow is the outline of the object that's in front of the light. Yes. So um, when we have a flashlight behind our hands and we put it up towards the wall at night, we are creating shadows on the wall or shadow puppets in this case, right? We're not making shade puppets. No. No. Well, what about sunglasses? We call those shades sometime, right? Because they shade the sun. And we're talking, they don't create a shadow on our eyes. I mean, they technically do, but that's not the point. The point is to break up some of that light so it's not so strong on our eyes. Just like the shades on our windows. When we have shades on our windows, it blocks some of the light or it diffuses some of the light. So let's just go back to the beginning here. Shade and shadow. Shadow is talking about this image that is projected on the ground or on the wall. It's a two-dimensional space. The shade is a three-dimensional space that's created from an object blocking light. Okay, so please don't make any mistakes with these words on the Cambridge First Certificate exam. If you have any questions or need any more examples, please comment below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.